Hello friends, today in this lecture we are going to talk about MaxMind GeoLite 2 City Download. If you are using Mothic and if you want to use MaxMind GeoLite 2 City Download, so there is an update recently. If I click on Fetch IP Look Data Store, so I am getting this error automatically fetching IP lookup data fails. Previously, we uh, were able to fetch data and it was showing a success message. But recently they have updated. So if I go on their blog, this is their blog, blog.maxmind.com. Uh, this is their blog and it is it is written that significant changes to accessing and using GeoLite 2 database. Reason for changes. They have given the reason for their changes. You can read this blog. Uh, MaxMind has always been committed to an individual right to privacy on the internet. Due to some privacy reason, they have made this update. So I'll not read all the document. Uh, you can if you want, you can just go through it. Uh, so they have given the steps to update. So here are the steps uh, which need to be followed. But I tried and I was not uh, able to do it. So I found some other way in which I was successful. So I wrote an article on my website. This is my website and this is the URL where I have written the article. Okay. So this URL I will share in the description. So these are the steps which we need to follow. So first we need to create a account on MaxMind. So let's do it step by step. So let's create an account. Company name I'll give best computer chess. Industry can choose anything affiliate marketing. Okay. So India and web analytics. Email address I'll add best computer chess dot in at gmail dot com. Okay, so this is the email ID which I created for my other website, the chess dot in, and phone number is optional. This is also optional. I agree to the terms and conditions. Let's click on continue. Okay, thank you for signing up. You will receive an email with instruction for accessing the database. So this is my email ID. And soon I will get an instruction. Okay, welcome to MaxMind. So access your MaxMind account getting started. Okay, so let's click on this. Uh, does not exist. Okay, let's go to my URL. And this is the set your password and create a license key okay so let's create a license key by clicking on the username is best computer chess dot in at gmail dot com and i need to create a password okay so let's i have not created a password okay so once again we have to max my access okay you must first create a password so this is uh, your username is uh, the email id which we have added to login you must first create a password so let's create a password okay so let's create a password so i'll create a password here okay great uh, by checking the box okay cool so let's reset this password okay now click here to login okay so now i'll go to my uh, url and let's click on this so now i have created a password i'll go i log in with my username and password so let's log in Yes, okay. So now here it is written generate new license key. So let's click on it. Older version. Okay, let me read it out. While this key is being used, CUIP update can be no. Okay, so here I have to select no. And let's. Okay, this is the name of license key number one. My new key okay i'll give the name my new key let's click on confirm 
Okay, so I got this license key. Let's copy this. And now, after copying this key, log into your Mautic dashboard. Okay, so I have already logged in into my Mautic dashboard. And go to setting, configuration, system setting, miscellaneous settings. So I am in the settings, system settings, and I am in the miscellaneous settings where this MaxFind GeoLite 2 CT download is there. And then what we have to do is like we have to uh, put the license key there. So here I need to paste the license key. Second. So this is the license key which I need to just remove the spaces okay and i'll click on yes and then i'll try to fetch the ip okay still i'm getting this error so let me copy the license key again let's go back paste the license key this time i'll not do yes i'll just fetch still it is giving me an error So I tried a couple of times and now it is showing me success. So that's great. Okay, that's great. So now to check this out. Okay, so to check this out, uh, what we are going to do is uh, I have created a form. Okay, and uh, let me go on configuration and let me click on contact. Right now there is no contact. Okay. So here I have created a form with the name test okay and so let me go inside this and this is the URL of this form so bestcomputerchess.co.in slash form slash one okay so this is the path so bestcomputerchess.co.in form slash one if I fill this form okay if I fill this form you will see the contact details here okay so let me write my name and let me give me give my email id and let me submit it so it is shown a thank you message and if i come on contact and if i refresh this contact list so here it is showing me my name email id and the location but one more thing i want to tell you uh before we try this out just update the version okay might be because uh, i'm not getting a correct location or maybe uh, maybe there can be an issue you might not get the location so let's update it okay and let's then try with some other email id so what i'm going to do is i'll update click on update so in this lecture we can we have seen the geolocation part as well as how to update Mautic. so we need to click on update now so it will take some time to update so guys please don't refresh the page while it is updating so let it happen it will take time but we need to wait for some time okay so now database schema is already up to date okay so it is uh, up updated so now uh, if i see the notification there are no notification and it is updated okay so let's go to dashboard uh, and then we can just go on contact so 
let's try with some other email id so let me refresh this page and let's write my personal email ID. so in contact it was surfraz at the red fest computer chess dot in and this time i'll write my gmail email id okay so thanks and here if i refresh the page okay so now even i'm getting uh the same power maharashtra that is fine so this is working okay so let me refresh the page again fine we have tested with two email ids so in the configuration if i go in the configuration here if you can see a uh, dot indication which we added right away So we have not click on apply okay so let's update it again this was the issue okay success and then we need to apply so that is the thing which i forgot uh, you should not forget to apply the changes so once we apply this changes now you can see uh, let's try with this yes and then we can just update Okay, it is showing success. Let's apply it. These are the things which we need not forget. Okay. So yes, yes, everything is fine. Now what I'll do is I'll go to contact and I'll remove the contact. Okay, let's do it once again because I want you guys to do it perfectly. Here I'm doing a little bit of mistakes, but uh, you just follow the whole video. And let's delete this now let's try with an email id so safra this at bad and best computer chess let's refresh this yes so it is showing me my location so guys please uh, once you do the configuration the things which i forgot i am just repeating it out so you don't forget this so you need to select this you need to put your ip uh, key to do a yes and then update ip once it is success please apply the changes if you don't apply the changes you might uh, not see the result and one more thing you need to update if it is showing update you need to update then you need to create a form okay and then you need to test it so how to create a form here is it's the option here you from here you can create a form once you click here there is an option to create a form so from here you can create a form standalone form you can create and then you can test it out so i won't show you how to create the form uh, in this video but uh, this is how you can create it and then you can test it out and then the result will be in contacts so uh while recording this video there may be some mistakes which i have done but i tried my best to solve the issue because even i was getting this issue for a long time and then i found, found out the way to do it so this is the url uh my blog url so this i'll share it in the description and one more thing uh guys i have uh, created a course on mothic and amazon ses installation uh, this is a full course how to create how to install mothic on uh, amazon S, uh, aws and how to use amazon scs so if i click here so this is the course uh, which i created on udemy okay so here you can see uh, 21 students have enrolled and here you can see uh, i have shown mothic installation on aws and even how to use Amazon SES. So you can just, if you want to buy, you can uh, buy this course. Okay. So that is uh, the link. This is a button you need to click on and you can buy it. Uh, and if you're already using Mothic and if you're facing this issue of GeoLite 2, so you can follow the steps. And one more thing, please. Uh, 
subscribe to my channel uh, i hope you like this video and and please subscribe uh, please subscribe to my channel uh, please like the video if you have any doubt you can comment out in the comment section and please uh, share this video to a lot of people so there are other people who are, who might be facing this issue so you can just share it with them and uh, it would be helpful for them as well so this is it for this video and i'll see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye